Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and New Year and happy holidays. I have been um, taking care of a new kitty, as I said last week. She's in my lap, all curled up and purring. I'll try to show her to you. She's super cute. She's very little. We named her Pepper. The shelter named her Peppermint Patty, and her brother was named Linus, but we decided to shorten her name to just Pepper, and we like that. She's kind of a gray and white cat, so we think it fits. So just wanted to start with a new raffle prize today. Um, let me grab that, the kitty in my lap. It's these copper, brightly gleaming foil elements and they're copper and they have stars and all kinds of things. They're just gorgeous. So please, um, I was going to write a sign so I didn't have to say it out loud. Hold on. <laughs> Ta-da. Please do this to enter the raffle. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start off. It's a brand new year, and this is um, Stampin' Up's best time of the year because they do a celebration. And so for every $50 you spend, you get a free stamp set. And when you host, you can get an extra stamp set. And if you join, you can get not only an extra stamp set, but you also get this cute little mini cutter. So cute. And you get this sample pack of designer series paper. So all this paper. Let's see. Got to go this way. Whee! So I'm going to kind of um, show you in the catalog where some of these things are. Let me get myself situated here. Forgot to refresh the page, so let me refresh that. Let me show you the kitty all curled up in my lap. So I hope you guys have had a really happy holidays. Uh, did you do anything special or did you just hang out at home and enjoy the calm? before the storm or the calm after the storm. <laughs> Maybe I should say it that way. We just hung out here. Oh, good. Hey, Emily, Tammy, hi, Denise and Debbie. Thank you for watching. Um, we just hung out and my husband's family lives close by. So we just um, had Christmas Eve dinner at our house and then we had Christmas uh, brunch at my brother-in-law's house and opened presents and hung out together so it was really nice and then for New Year's we just gathered at my in-laws house and had a simple dinner and played some games so it was really chill it was really nice but definitely it was very busy up until Christmas really really busy so I've got three cards to show you one is a celebration stamp set and paper and dies that I use three things on this card and then the next is a beautiful Parisian suite that's in the mini catalog. And then last is the featured suite in the catalog is these peaceful poppies. So we're going to make a card with that suite. So let's start off here. There we go. So I'm going to start with the Lily card and that is in the celebration catalog. So the celebration catalog has all the free products that you can get. Um, you might have seen the meerkats. They have been very popular. But here are the lovely lily pads. So the stamp set and they're reversible. So you can stamp on one side and then so like this stamp right here, you can stamp the image with the lines on this side and then you can take it off and you can flip it over. Oh, the stamp has been on there for two weeks, so it's really stuck on there good. You can flip it over like so, and then you can stamp, I call it like a fill-in stamp, to color 
the stamp. So really cool stamp set. So there's also dies, which I love, 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 that cut out a lot of the images and have some more cutouts. So super, super pretty stuff. Good morning, Irene. Um, and here's the paper. So this is the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper that I'm using in this card. Just such pretty, pretty paper. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Monet paper. There's also these sequins and twine that are really pretty. And I really love this happy birthday to you. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cards with that. There's a all-inclusive kit and um, there's no stamping involved. You just put it together. So this would make a really great gift for a beginner. And then there's some Golden Honey uh, specialty designer series paper that coordinates with the Honey Bee Bundle in the mini catalog. Mini catalog. So you don't want to miss that. This is such a cute card too. I love that. And then Sending You Thoughts stamp set, a Thoughtful Bloom stamp set that coordinates with the punch. And the punch um, is free with a $100 purchase. And then you've got this bundle here with this Power of Hope stamp set and this stone 3D embossing folder looks so cool. So this is also free with a $100 purchase. And then if you host, you can earn this little ladybug set for free. It's so cute, it's so popular, everybody's using it. So if you host a $300 party, you get this ladybug set for free. So super fun. All right, so let's do this card. So let me grab all of my pieces here. One just fell on the floor. Yeah. Okay, so here's the card. I just realized I left something in the computer, so I'm gonna have to go grab that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp the lily pads in Blackberry Bliss as a pattern across the card. Just kind of get some of the pieces off the card. And I'm just going to randomly stamp. I know it's dark, so it's a little bit hard to see. We'll go like this. I just like um, the texture that it gives the background. I love using stamps to create backgrounds and create texture. So we're just gonna kind of do this all the way down the card. Do one more down here. So that's our background. And then for the lilies, we're going to emboss. So I'm going to put some of this beautiful Lily Impressions designer series paper on some Bermuda Bay, quite tight. Okay, and that's gonna get put on dimensionals. And then I'm going to emboss these two. So where did my embossing buddy go? I'm always looking for it. Here we go. So definitely always remember to use an embossing buddy. Just really helps. And then we'll use the Burstamark ink pad. It's a sticky ink pad that really helps the powder stick to it. And we'll stamp this on garden green first. And then I've got some gold embossing powder. I'm almost out. I'm gonna pour that on there. Hold it sparingly. That's good. And then I've got my heat tool right here. I'm gonna heat that up. And 
And then, woo, kitty got scared and ran away. I'm going to do the other one on Blackberry Bliss. A lot of powder on it. Okay. And then put the gold on here too. All right. Heat this one up. Should have gotten my tweezers. Okay, so we've got those two done. So I used the dies to cut them out. So these are the lily pad dies. So this one will cut out this lily. And then there's this fun one here that I used to cut out some vellum pieces. So I've got these little vellum pieces. And then I've already uh, cut out the two pieces. So the green one I left intact, I left it whole. And then the Blackberry Bliss one, I've cut off uh, the bottom leaves. So it makes it look like it's um, just those leaves down there. And here's the stamp set. So I'm just going to adhere this on here. Okay, so now I'm gonna to put together the card. There's powder everywhere. So we'll do some dimensionals. I know I had the large ones somewhere, here we go. So here's some dimensionals. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Denise. Okay, so I'm gonna just place this on the card. These colors just go together so well. And then the vellum, I'm just going to stick it on using some snail adhesive because you're not gonna see it behind there. And then I'll put some dimensionals. I just had them, where'd I put them? Here they are on the lily. Oh, I was supposed to cut that one off too. That's okay. Still looks good. So now we're going to finish the card. So that's the lily pad card. Hi kitty. Do you want to be on TV? Here we go. Here's my new kitty. This is Pepper. Pepper, say hi. She's got super big ears. She's so tiny. She's so little. She's got these really cute white paws. And she purrs all the time and she's always trying to find a lap to sit in. <laughs> but she's such a sweet kitty. I wanted a cat like pretty much all my life and I'm allergic to them, but I did five years of uh, allergy shots and I take allergy medicine, so I think I'm good. I've been pretty good. I just don't hold her when I'm like wearing my pajamas and I don't let her in my bedroom, so I think that will help. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's put you in the lap get you all situated. Okay, so our next card is going to be the Parisian Beauty card. And I just love this, it's so pretty. 
and I love the colors and the stamp set and the dies. It's just such an amazing suite. So first you have this Parisian Beauty stamp set with the Eiffel Tower, and then you can cut that out or you can do a detailed one like this. And then you've got all these nice sayings. You've got Amour and Mercy and a little swirl and then this fleur de -lis. So it's a really pretty, pretty stamp set. And so this is the first uh, bundle in the suite. And then the next bundle is just gorgeous. It's Forever Blossoms and it's got this beautiful flower, which I have here on the card, all these nice sayings. And then the dyes are amazing because they have all these flowers. They got four of these ones. They've got two of these and two of these and two of each leaves and smaller leaves and this large piece that cuts out the large flower. Uh, just amazing set of dies. Just really like this suite a lot. So for this card, I'm going to start off with some petal pink and the sayings. And got to grab the petal pink ink. Okay, petal pink. and get rid of some of the dust and stuff. And I'm just gonna randomly stamp the sayings across the card. There we go. And then um, just really simply, I'm going to stamp this on some white with the black. And then I'm going to color it in. I've already got the Eiffel Tower all cut out. So I'm just going to ink this up. Okay, that looks all inked up. And we'll just stamp that right on there. Beautiful flowers. And then I've got the petal pink ink. So for the darker ink, I'm gonna use that in the centers. And then I'll put the lighter ink around the edges. Mm, is it still freezing up? I hope not. Okay, so now we've got our pretty flowers. And then we'll do the leaves with old olive. So we'll just kind of do the dark old olive in the middle of the leaf. And then we'll fill in with the light. All right, then I can cut it out using the cherry blossom die. It's just going to fit perfectly on there. And so cut that out. And then add the Eiffel Tower and kind of wind the flower around the tower. And then you could add like a sentiment there or a sentiment inside. And there's your Parisian Beauty card. 
So I hope you like that one. I'm gonna show it to you here in the catalog. So this is the mini catalog, it's fun. It opens horizontally, so that's really fun. So the Parisian um, Blossoms Suite is right here. And these are all the beautiful samples. And so I kind of mimicked this one a little bit for that card. But then there's this beautiful embossing folder that's part of the suite too, the Parisian Flourish, and it's just gorgeous. So here's the two bundles that I was talking about. There's also some rhinestones and ribbon. So it's a really, really pretty suite. And of course the designer series paper. All right, so the last card is the Poppy, Peaceful Poppies. And that is kind of the whole theme of the mini catalog. So here you have all the peaceful poppies right here on the first page. And then you have a whole middle spread of the peaceful poppies. So here's all the samples, just gorgeous. And then here's the suite. It's also a two bundle suite. You've got your designer series paper, and you've got your two bundles, some sequins, ribbon, and elements round out the suite. So that is the peaceful poppies suite. So for this card, I've used both, let's see, that goes with this, this goes with this. So painted poppies, and it goes with painted labels. And you've got these that cut out the flowers, and then you've got uh, different labels and leaves and a little bit of an embellishment there. And these go together in a bundle. And so I've used the cutout right there and the other cutout right there. And then this card, or sorry, bundle is Peaceful Moments. And so it has a bunch of really pretty sayings and pretty fonts and pretty, pretty dyes that um, do outlines and then the filler dies and it's just gorgeous you layer them together and you make spectacular cards i hope you've seen them on pinterest and other places so to start i have some mossy meadow and then i've got this uh, dsp and i thought it's fun to use it either way so this time i'm going to use it this way and then i cut out the label with this dsp and then i'm going to stamp all the flowers and the happy birthday on here. So the happy birthday is in Blackberry Bliss. So I'm just gonna stamp it right down here. And then we can cut that out using this label right here from the painted label dies. So that's gonna get cut out right there. And then we're gonna do, oh, the flowers are also in Blackberry Bliss. So we're gonna stamp one flower. Let's see, how many cards do I have? Three cards. got three cards so I'm gonna do three of these do two more of these all right so that'll work and then you've got this filler stamp as I call it and we will fill it with poppy parade so you grab poppy parade Here's the Poppy Parade. So I'm just going to use this to color it in. It doesn't really completely line up, but I think that makes it really fun. It does for the small ones. There we go. So you're gonna cut those all out using the dies. So this die works on the large one. And this die works on the small one. So you'll cut all those out. 
and then you will put them together like so. Sorry I didn't cut them out beforehand. But that's how I will do it. And then if you want, do I have my other sample over here? You could even use this splatter stamp to create a background on the card. So I'll go ahead and show you that, because that's kind of fun. Just add some texture to the card. Oh, and I forgot you got to stamp some leaves too. So you got to stamp four leaves in the mossy meadow. And then cut those all out. And then here you go. Doesn't that look nice with the texture on it? Can you see that? So you could use this either way and you could flip this. I like this better. So I think that looks nice, but I also think this looks nice. The paper is just so versatile, so pretty. So here's the card that I made. I'm going to go cut these out later. Make some leaves. And next week I'm going to be showing you more peaceful poppy cards using that this suite. So this suite. So because I have a class this Thursday on this suite. And then Saturday is my um, celebration and mini catalog um, party and so if you're local I would love for you to join me it's at 10 a.m pacific time um, if not I can send you a kit it's going to be three cards uh, for $25 and I can also send you a kit of the peaceful poppies it's going to be six cards for $30 and with any of my classes I am more than happy to make a kit and send it to you and also, um, please have fun with celebration. Um, please go to my website, estampin.com, and you can order online there. And I have my hostess code on there as well for January. And um, I would love for you to join my team. We meet every month, and I do uh, weekly uh, Facebook Lives for my team. And sometimes I also video our team meetings. So we have a lot of fun. We swap and we make projects and we really enjoy getting together every month. So I hope you've enjoyed watching these cards and I will see you next Tuesday for some more poppies. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next week. Bye.